Hey friends, Tux here. I'm at Toys R Us Miami and checking out some stuff. I see all sorts of Pokemon right now that you have buy one, get one 50% off mix and match. So, oh my gosh, I just bought a bunch of Pokemon at GameStop, but it's okay. Um, but they do have a good sale going on right now. It looks like through tw uh, 224. So a little bit of time there if you need some sets or something. A lot of fun Pokemon stuff. There's one thing I'm really looking for for Pokemon. The thing I regret not buying in December was this little figure set. It was a yellow box and had a whole bunch of Pokemon PVC figures. I'm not seeing it here, but hopefully maybe they'll have it somewhere else in the store. So anyway, but that is a pretty good deal, I have to admit. So anyway, be sure and check that out. Mix and match. Oh my gosh, this dog. This thing keeps barking at me. I guess this is kind of a thing right now. Chetty Charlie. It is a pretty Chetty Charlie. Talking beagle, huh? Interesting. We'll continue on through the store. Here's my cart. I'm not just grabbing someone's random cart. Although that would be kind of funny, actually. Uh, let's take a look here down an aisle. I guess we'll check out this aisle here. I see some Disney stuff we'll check out. Is this still a thing? Is this still like the popular Disney movie? Like I thought some of the stuff went clearance and kind of disappeared. I see toys and lots of stuff for it. Maybe they're making a new one. I thought, actually I've seen this movie on like uh, direct video director, <laughs> video on demand, what am I talking about? And it was pretty good actually, I liked it a lot. So actually this is probably worth checking out if you've not seen it. The chicken is pretty hilarious. You know I'm kind of into chicken zone. Oh, speaking of that, here is the chicken. So very cute, very scatter minded. But um, a lot of cool toys for it. Um, I don't know if Disney's had anything bigger since then to be honest with you. Going down here at Charmed U, little cute little things. This kind of reminds me of some of the Zulu toys. Um, this whole like little mini figure. These girls are pretty cute. Um, it's been kind of a thing lately, so. Oh, look at this one that has a scooter. That's kind of cool. I got like that. Scooter, Italian. Very nice. Oh, check out this over here. All sorts of crazy things. We got Shopkin packs. We got Powerpuff Girl villains, it looks like. Very cool, only the one villain. Oh, this guy, very funny. Look at this, what on earth is this? Feeling lucky. That is interesting. Hmm, I don't think I'll buy it though, it's okay. Looks like this uh, Hatchables is still a thing, although they kind of downsized these teeny little Hatchables now. But um, I remember when, like a season ago, like one Christmas and a half ago, where these were like the hot thing you have to like wait overnight in line for, which is absurd actually. This is pretty cute, I like the little little six pack of eggs, so that's pretty fun. Uh, actually this feels surprisingly heavy, you know. Um, what else we got, hamsters, hamsters are really cute. I think that's pretty adorable. And moving on to Disney here, lots of Disney fun here. Lots of good stuff. I really enjoyed my time going to Universal Studios and after BlizzCon I went to Disneyland, uh, it was the California one, which I guess is Disneyland, right? Disneyland? Disney World, I always get those too confused. Um, but good time, I definitely need to see the California Adventure later. More hamsters, it's kind of weird how these are separated. Definitely digging a little orange hamster, it kind of reminds me of a <laughs> anime a little bit. I've been hearing a lot that the Star Wars toys didn't go over so well this time. And because the movie wasn't as popular or something, I don't know, I mean, I actually did like the Star Wars movie. I thought it was good, but I want to get one 50% off. Maybe it's just Toys R Us and like their mode where everything's like BOGO 50 or something. Um, but a lot of people say the toys didn't sell as well. Pretty cool stuff though. These are kind of bizarre, they're actual large scale figures. I mean I have one of these, um, but it's one of the original ones. If you go back to my video, it's got like 500,000 views, you can check it. But I don't have the cape is the problem. You know, I've yet to see the Power Ranger movie. I, I still need to see this. Like, I think this looks wrong to me. But um, I do want to see this movie, and at some point I will. If you've seen it, please let me know. Oh, that's pretty cute. Look at that. I do like that, actually. So if you've seen this movie, let me know. Um, looks like they have lots of toys. Looks like they're not necessarily clearance. So it looks like, I mean, it's okay. A lot of stuff again here. Toys R Us buy one, get one fifty. So it is a good time to buy toys for sure. Lots and lots of Power Ranger stuff. This is actually the Camaro here that they actually made a real life Camaro out of. Um, you can actually see this on the Chevy website for a Camaro on the Camaro homepage. So you, you can actually buy like a real life version of this, which is kind of cool actually. Um, but this is the 2018 Camaro um, SS Orange. So I guess I guess I'll take this one for sure. I'm looking through the Hot Wheels here. Let's see what else they have here. Lots of airplanes. I'm kind of into the sports car mode more than anything else. Uh, taking a look back here. I kind of like where you can like look underneath and 
check them out that way is pretty cool. Oh, this is interesting what we got here. We have a 2013's Hot Wheels uh, Chevy Camaro Special Edition with the hood and uh, the gold. So that's pretty cool. I think I'll get that one too. What else I got in here? Let's see here. A lot of weird things. Power boats. Don't want that. No, no, no. No, no. No. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, but uh, no. What is this thing? 15 Mazda Miata MX-5 Miata. Um, not super in Miatas, but maybe I'll take this one. I'll throw that in there for now. What else do we have? Let's see. A lot of weird cars. I really like the cars which are like real cars and not like kind of like made up matchbox cars. I know collectors feel differently about that. Sometimes they want like, you know, the funny weird ones they make up themselves because they are creative and cool. But all right, looks like that's it for this display. Um, I think there's some more matchboxes I'll have to dig through on a different end cap though. But some pretty cool stuff. Don't really see anything up there particularly. Uh, let's see, no Porsches. Nope, looks like that's it for the Hot Wheel display. But pretty good stuff. And of course these are right now, you know, buy one, get one 50% off. So it is a good time to buy. I kind of feel like this is the display where I had the, the PVC set that I wanted so bad before. Uh, this is a pretty cool World Championship deck. And of course these aren't legal. Is the only thing bad about it. Um, lots of cards, sleeves. What is this? People running around. Nope, that's not it. Lunch boxes. Where is my figure set? This is pretty cute. I seen this at GameStop. And I almost bought it. It is cute. But now what I'm looking for. I want the PVCs. Where are those crazy things? Got some cool shiny legendaries elite trainer boxes here. Got that one and this one here. Pretty cool stuff. Ooh, look at that. That's cool too. And over here we have all the cards. Lots and lots of cards, but no PVCs. Grr. Where is my PVC set? Not here. All right, we're gonna keep shopping. Okay, we're at the Nintendo display here, and you notice that there is no Nintendo Wii U's. It looks like the Wii U is finally done. They do have a few games kind of hiding down here. I think they're clearance, or no, check out, like $59, $29. They're pretty standard prices. Um, do have a lot of Switch things in here, too. I wish I had more Wii U stuff on clearance, though. But, oh well. Doom, I still need to pick up Doom. Alright, we'll check out the world of Nintendo display here. You know, one thing kind of interesting, I noticed these little PVC figures. This area is pretty full, like there's not a lot of empty pegs here. And they got some pretty cute figures, traditional stuff. Mario, Pikmin, like some other stuff which isn't quite as common. Animal Crossing, great game by the way. Newer stuff, Zelda stuff, Splatoon stuff. But when you go over here to the Nebos, look at this, there's a lot of empty Anibo pegs. So, I don't want to say Nebos are kind of on the way out, because I, I do like them. But definitely there's as many, oh actually the price is $9.98 clearance, $9.88 clearance. So yeah, it looks like that's part of the problem is it looks like they're really just trying to get rid of them. Oh, some of these are kind of cool. What is this? You know, I, I don't have, I don't have this one, but I don't know if I need to collect that. Like I wish it was like a, a buy one get one free or, you know, get buy one get one 50% off or something for a character that I don't really, you know, play necessarily. Um, this one's pretty cool. I don't have this either. And I was almost going to buy this Fire Emblem game. It uh, looked pretty cool. Um, but I don't know if I would play it as a thing. Like, I, maybe I should get for Switch. But I still have a problem with my Switch is crashing on Mario. So I don't know if it's a Switch problem or if it's more a problem with the game itself. But um, that is pretty cute, though. I do like that. And I'm kind of tempted to buy that.